Hello and welcome to ckkmobile.com This time I have the HP Mini 1000, the new version with Atom CPU here and as you can see it's wide open as uh, I've been testing uh, different 3G modems on it and uh, as you can see the device ships with the empty slot you can't right now buy it with the 3G if you can that's nice if you're not type to operator that's even nicer but I couldn't so there is empty slot and there is also a sim card slot on the battery apartment let's put the sim card there so we can start testing it okay so I have a power plug plug on so we don't need to play with the battery and uh, let's put a CR wireless 3G card to the slot and as you may have seen on my other videos and dissection pictures there is a screw hole here a little bit on the side of the device so I needed to put a small part of plastic on that screw hole to keep the modem steadily there so that way it works so now I have a sim sim on the sim card slot and uh, not a uh, CR wireless card on the slot so let's fire it up so it's a no go it's BIOS locked it's saying 105 unsupported wireless broadband device detected system halted remove device and restart thank you very many HP this is not the way you should do it so it's BIOS locked let's shut it down again so it's BIOS locked and I've tested with uh, with uh, Wi-Fi cards too nothing works on it but of course that's not keeping us doing it so uh, there's other option would be to hack the BIOS but that's not my job maybe someone will do it later but right now I had to find a other way because I'm not a BIOS hacker so looking at the connector over here I had to uh, invent a way to disable the device when when we enter the BIOS and uh, I think the easiest way at least for me was to cut one uh, the, the port 36 USB line near the connector you can, so you can see there's two cables coming from the from the connector so I used a knife to cut the line between the, po uh, the pin 36 and a small dot where it's going inside the inside the main board so really small dot there but uh, relatively easy to actually solder a cable so there's a gate cable going from the from the pin itself to that dot I will have uh, better pictures on my side so you can see them there and uh, I so I have to disable the device when 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 starting up the device uh, the computer so I have cables going from here to to the HP's own uh, oh, wait a HP's own USB thumb drive port hopefully you can see it and I put a small switch there you can see I have a switch there and it, it's a perfect fit a small switch you don't have to even even glue it or anything just put it there and it it will it will stay there nicely so you can see I can now easily easily disable and en enable it and it's nicely uh, under the the main level so you don't accidentally use it so working fine so now I enable it uh, sorry disable it so now the pin 36 USB 
line is open so it means that the system can't see see the the 3G modem let's put the modem back and let's boot it now let's put the power cable first okay now booting and we can boot it now so we are going to windows now so that was pretty easy you have to know how to solder but if you do it's it's quite easy easy to to access now when I did that it got the modem working but it was still disabled the radio was disabled so they're using using a, a, a signal there to actually keep the modem from not starting up so you have to use the old tape trick so you have to tape this pin on the on the 3G modem I actually taped the another one uh, near it too because then I can use a bigger tape so it's actually easier to do but I will also have pictures on my site so you can check check which one to tape but it's the first two under the modem next to the hole so again easy thing so now when we have the have the USB line cut it the system will of course say that USB device not recognized so I should have enabled it when when I was booting up but no worries let's do the standby let's put the computer on standby and I press the button now here or switch and let's come back from the standby and you should hear now a sound for an en enabled 3G modem yep there was the sound hopefully you can see something on the screen on opening the 3G software is that helping? no okay so it works it's actually searching the network as there's no antenna but we'll put just antenna cable there so maybe that helps so there's a pile of uh, part of antenna cable now on it so it should find some networks networks no let's do the standby once again sorry again for getting the antenna but you get the picture now it's now it can boot and now it can also enable the radio so there's two things to do and uh, I think HP is really not nice of, of making it so hard to people to use the modem they want so not good thing HP it's quite hard to film the super glossy screen but hopefully you can see so now now it's uh, ready it can see the it's SDPA network and my network provider so everything works and works fine I've been suffering with that now for a while there's no problems nothing the only thing is to remember to to use the switch if you power the device uh, power the HP fully off so let's do that again now I have <coughs> have the switch on the position where where it's uh, working so if I forget get it on come on shut down <coughs> okay now it's shut it down let's do it again powering up again now I forget to turn it off let's use the switch no nope. and then another power up uh, 
and we can see the Windows booting and I can now enable it so I press the button now so if I want to immediately use it and of course from the software no matter which 3G modem you're using I, I'm, I'm typically using the Novatel wireless cards because uh, I like the software more it's faster more reliable uh, on a CR wireless card I hate the software but the card itself is good too so from the software I can disable it or enable it so I don't I don't use uh, <coughs> use the battery unnecessarily. So let's again open the software. Initializing and it should be on the network. Let's try to turn it now. Man, this is glossy. Okay. But I think you've got the picture. And then I want to test also, and I'll show you also with the. Let's put the device on standby. I want to show you also with the Novatel card, especially this, this card, as this is my favorite card for hacking because it has the SIM card slot on itself. So this is this is a really nice card for many devices that don't have the SIM card slot. Uh, sadly, it it will be not made anymore soon, so it's out of reach. In I think Mobilex still has stock, but uh, it will soon be end of life product. So if you <coughs> if you if you need or, or think that you will need uh, need this modem modem for some device, you should buy now to get it. But for HP this is not the ideal one because uh, the SIM card slot is here. But I want to show it anyway. And of course this this uh, again now I'm disconnecting the modem from the... Uh, no no sorry I don't need it's on standby now so let's come back from the standby. So this method, method I'm, I'm doing here should work now on uh, on any uh, bias lock device of course because the bias doesn't see the device if you cut the USB lines so so you can use you can use this method for any other device of course you have to have to have have the the uh, USB lines on site it doesn't matter which one you cut is it the uh, pin uh, 36 or 38 but you have to cut Okay, so now you can see it better. We are online, and uh, actually we can even connect. This <coughs> this Novatel software is really nice and, and fast. So, as you can see, it works fine. The card is there, working fine. So. Zero for HP and one for JGK Mobile. Uh, I think uh, this is a good thing for, for for those who want to hack it. Of course, the easiest way would be buying the device with the 3G modem. But I know that uh, it's mostly sold with the subscription. You may not not want, so there is an option. If you can't do the soldering yourself, ask your friend. Go to the local local place where they can do it or, or something like that it's not that hard to do and it's it's good to have 3G on this kind of device because uh, then you don't have to be searching the Wi-Fi hotspot so all in all quite easy if you know how to solder and then of course you need an antenna and a good place for antenna is over here it's uh, good because it's th as there's room and because the shielding on the on this uh, uh, upper part is away on that spot of course the best thing would be to put it on the screen screen frame but this is much much easier I don't put my antenna there right now because I'm, I'm doing some other stuff still so so, so in the next video I will show what else is hiding here so, that was all for now, more later, check my site, checkakmobile.com for more, thank you, bye.